Welcome to this tutorial on Animoto. Using Animoto allows you to put students in a situation where they can use some in indirect instructional strategies like concept formation and reflective discussion. Reflective discussion allows students the ability to interpret or reflect on information gain through uh, knowledge and uh, experiences, where concept formation is the process by which a person learns to sort specific experiences into general rules or classes. It provides the students with an opportunity to explore ideas by making connections and seeing relationships between items of information. So Animoto is the tool that we're going to use uh, to do that. You may have seen one of the other tutorials on iMovie Trailer. iMovie Trailer is something that can be done on a Mac device. So it can be done on an Apple laptop, it can be done on an iPad, but you can't really use it on a, a Windows machine, laptop or desktop, or on an Android device. Animoto can be used on computers or on mobile devices. And we're actually going to use Animoto for digital storytelling. In a concept formation idea, you can have students create uh, an Animoto for identifying and sharing their understanding, how they've grouped or characterized relationships between information and made connections with it. In a reflective discussion situation, students at the end of that reflective discussion have the ability to use this tool to explain visually what they know and how they have made that connection. So reflection and concept formation. So you need to first get an account because you would want to store these items and then be able to share them or upload them in a number of different ways. Animoto.com is the site. And you would want to sign up, but before you do that, you're going to want to go down to this area here and click on Education. So if you click on Education, and you will log in with your Baker College login information, sometimes you get a few extra features when they know you're using it for education. Once you already have <clears throat> your account, Here's how you would sign in. You can also sign in using Facebook. I'm already a user, so I'm going to log in. And so now we're in. <clears throat> so what Animoto does is it creates a 30-second spot, if you will. Kind of like iMovie Trailer, it creates a 30-second set of images, videos, and music that you create in a format of digital storytelling so that you can show a, a concept. All you have to do is click on Create. You can choose a style of a layout. This has a, back, a black background. This has broken it up into grids so you can have some smaller images. I'm just going to go right here with this one. You also have the ability to go down here and search by various types of topics and so forth. You do have to know that some of these are um, not going to be accessible through the free version. You actually have to pay some money. I think the first paid package uh, the premium pay package is $5 a month, or you can get a whole year for $30 if it's something that you think you would use a lot. I'm in uh, just the free version. <clears throat> so I'm not going to, I'm going to make this 30 second video here. So it's loading my video creator. And you're going to, as I create this particular video trailer. I'm going to be adding images, I'm going to be adding text, I could also add movie clips, but as I add them they're going to show up right here. And you'll also notice that see it defaults with the free version to 30 seconds. As you add clips, as you add images, videos, text, 
this number is going to change. And once you get to 30, that's as far as, as you can go. <clears throat> you have the ability to change styles. We showed you those styles. You can add text. You can add pics and videos. You can add a logo if you'd like. You're, I don't think you can do that in the, in the free version. That's in one of the premium or other paid versions. The first thing you're going to want to do, especially if you're going to do more than one of these, and or you're going to have it as a, an assignment submission, you need to change the name. Whatever, maybe it's the class name, maybe you have last name of who's ever going to be the creator, and you can put a description in there if you'd like to, but you do need to give it a name. <clears throat> so we see we have a name here now. There is a music track based on the style that you chose. There's a music track here. You can listen to the music track, you can choose other music tracks, you can upload your own songs yourself. So I think this is the one that they've, that they've given us here. So you wanted to change one, you can listen to it and see if it's something that that you actually want to use. Once you choose your music track, I'm just going to leave it alone at the default based on the style that I chose. I now can add photos, videos, and text. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. I get these two choices. This is videos and photos. This T is a text. So let's say I'm going to start here. This shows you where you can get your vi uh, videos and images from. If you have some various accounts in some of these um, social media networks or photo sharing networks, you can actually go there and grab your photos. If you go to the image library, you get photos that Animoto has that are available for you to use and upload pictures and video allow you to get images from your particular uh, desktop or laptop. So I'm going to do that. Choose that image. You'll see that it is rendering and loading right now. It'll take a little bit to put that one in there. You may on occasion, <clears throat> I'm going to grab another video from that, or another image from that same spot just because I want to show you something. Uh, if I go to this same spot and I go down to my photos, only because I know I'm going to get a specific error message here and I just want to point that out to you and show you what that's all about. Once it loads this picture, you might notice that there's this little kind of orangish triangle up in the corner. What this actually means, if I click on it, it tells me this image is too small and may look blurry. You may decide to, to go ahead and deal with it, uh, which is fine, but I did want to show you what that particular um, symbol means. So in this case, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to put some text in. thinking about. <clears throat> I could put a subtitle in there if I wanted to. This tells you the number of characters that you have left in that particular space. So if I, I can put up to 12 more characters in here. If I go above and beyond that, it's not going to allow me to do that. For a subtitle, I can add up to 50 because that's what it says. I'm not going to add a subtitle right now. I'm just going to hit save. And I'm going to go back and grab some images. And just for this purpose, I'm going to go into the image library. <clears throat> and let's see. I'll just grab some images here. Go back there again. I can also grab a few at a time. If that's what I, if I wanted all those images in here. Notice now how I have 20 seconds of the 30 used up. So since this one is related to wedding, this one's related to graduation, I'm going to take this one oops, and I'm going to get rid of that one. And all I did, I'm going to get rid of this one as well too. I'm just clicking on this little settings area here and then clicking on the trash can and it asks you, are you sure? So I'm going to go back to this spot. I'm going to add some more text.
Do you have the finances? Are you sure? So notice, again, the characters that I have left are listed. I hit save. I'm going to go back and grab some pictures. <clears throat> One of the key elements here is, um, I'll just put a photo in there, is that you have to make sure that the images are on your machine. Different from iMovie Trailer, where you could go out to Google and search those. So you have to get them on your machine ahead of time in order to use them. I could also put a video on there if that's what I wanted to do. But right now I'm just grabbing images. So here's that little symbol again. I'm just going to leave it alone here. And I've used 25 seconds. Maybe I can fit one more in here. So now I'm 27 seconds. It's close enough. I could try to fit one more image in there. I could try to put some text in there. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, so now it says full 30 seconds. Your video is full. Your account is limited to 30 seconds. Here's where I mentioned that earlier. You could upgrade, which allows you to, I think you can go up to 10 minutes if you get one of the paid accounts. So I am done at this particular point. So I can save it, and I have all kinds of ways to share it. But the first thing that you would want to do is you would want to preview. And so it's generating the preview. You'd want to do that. You could go to skip and produce right away, and then it'll be done. But I think it's sometimes it's a good idea to uh, watch the preview and make sure that it works out that the way that you want it to. So at this particular point, we're done. It's rendering. Okay, so uh, I showed you about 25 seconds worth of the whole thing. Um, so that's pretty much kind of how it works at this point. Um, <clears throat> if you were projecting this somewhere, you can go down and make it full screen if that's something that you would like to do. So I have the ability now to produce this or continue editing. Let's say I'm happy with it. I can produce it and it will uh, take its time to render. As you can see here, it is finalizing the rendering. It takes about 30 seconds to do this completely. And so while it's doing that, I'll come over here and show you the share possibilities. I can actually tweet this. I can post it to Facebook. I can upload it to YouTube. I can email it. There's a link that will be provided. So I can grab the link and email that. Or I have the ability to grab the embed code. So for those of you that want to actually place it inside something, whether uh, whether or not that might be someplace in Blackboard or anything like that, you would have the ability to uh, grab the embed code and place it right in there. So that's Animoto, using it for a little digital storytelling. Again, a free version is out there, gives you 30 seconds. You can add images, videos, you can also grab uh, movie tracks, I'm sorry, soundtracks that you have yourself. So you can go in and grab your own music that you have, um, or you can use the movie, um, music tracks that are provided by Animoto, and you're good to go. So good luck. Hopefully you enjoy this and can find some uses for it.